onto the gatehouse. We start off, well, usually <laughs> surrounded by enemies, but they're all in the next courtyard. I think this is the level that introduces us to the fire gargoyles, the ones that like, chuck fireballs at you. Yep, there you go. They're slightly stronger than the normal gargoyles, but it doesn't make too much difference. It sounds like they're laughing at you. Me, 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 me. Honestly, it's... They are pretty much indistinguishable um, from one another, so you can't tell whether one's a gargoyle or a fire gargoyle. Just kill them all anyway. So you might, might have noticed now that I had two tomes of power at the end of the last level, but now I only have one. So that confirms the point that I made before. Come on, Goggle, you know you want to fly down here. And get you as well. No. There you are. Right. <coughs> The thing that Heretic really lacks is like mid-level enemies, basically like the equivalent of Doom 2's, like Kako Demons, Hell Knights, Revenants, that sort of thing. Enemies that aren't too like strong, but enough to make the action a little bit more interesting. Heretic basically just relies on mooks really, and just lots of them. Uh, let's just close this crossbow. just become obsolete. I'm just way too stingy with my ammunition. <laughs> so this first episode, being the City of the Damned, takes place in a Sidhay village. I have no idea whether that's how you're supposed to, supposed to pronounce it, but... Ooh, here we go. Knights galore. But yes, this is basically like a village, or was a village of your people, the elves, the Sidhe. And now just full of the undead. Why don't I use one of the Shadow Spheres? I'm still going to dodge out of the way of projectiles anyway. You saw it in the first level, but you can see a bit more clearly here the, uh, the sector that has wind. The sector itself is breaking wind. Not quite. Come on. back. Into the gold door. Ooh. I, 
this it also has the um, partial invisibility effect as well. Because that gargoyle just kind of went straight off. I think you can tell I'm not really that well informed about this game, especially compared to Doom. around here first. This the, uh, the golem I was trying to strike before, but we couldn't reach. <coughs> Definitely looks like there's a split in the texture there, so... Hmm. <coughs> Ooh, can actually find this. Now up the tower. Green key. Oh, that's right, we can now do this. one again. Background for that dragon claw. <coughs> right. Now we can go up here. I knew it. I knew that I had to open somewhere, somehow. This is what leads us outside. Possibly. <coughs> Sounds like it came from over here. Oh, oh yes. <coughs> Grab the stuff. Let's see if you here. So many knights. The red ones will be able to get to us because they're kind of like, I don't know, magical, ethereal, whatever. But the green axes just get pushed by the wind. As long as we keep away. really should have used the type of power there. I'm much more used to Doom where the item is used as soon as you run over it. Rather than having to try and think about when to use it. I don't do thinking in a first person shooter. Oh, the morph over Artifact. Basically, you use this, and a series of projectiles will head out from you, and if an enemy is hit by a said projectile, they turn into a chicken. There's a similar item in Hexen called the por Porculator, I think that's it, um, which turns enemies into pigs. Use the temp power now. Go 
ghost ethereal warrior. A ghost ethereal warrior, just an ethereal warrior. Right, that is everything. So I'm just gonna. There's not really anything else to pick up, is there? No. Let's just go ahead and finish this. Onto the guard tower. Right, we start at the very bottom of the map. Well, um, very far east of the map. Seems to drag the for a bit. Quite a few enemies in this level. That is the heretic way. Right, something right behind us as soon as we start. <coughs> Nothing else. Okay. Let's go to the right. Only one secret in this level. Okay. Pretty sure that the uh, two side projectiles that the crossbow fires uh, don't strike ethereal units, but the middle big projectile does. It's just all elven one ammo's everywhere. I don't think there is like a mega armor equivalent in this game. I think it's just a shield. I could be wrong. Probably wrong. Got a bit crazy in there, aren't they? This leads us back to the start. Right. Here. Just collecting all the ammo. torch. Pretty sure, are you a net, net, nitro golem? Netro? Come on. There he is. Why did I know he was a nitro golem? Because again, you can't tell, like, 
between a regular go golem and a nitro golem. <clears throat> Flaming skull that these nitro golems cast uh, is homing, but has a, a much slower like, turning rate than the revenant missiles, so they're much easier to dodge and, of course, do a lot less damage. Somehow, something is supposed to open there. Come back out at the end of the level, but otherwise, I don't know how to open that up. There they all are. Our goal here is to reach the top of the tower. Pretty sure there's all of them dead. Through this, I think I can. Yes. Yeah, cool. <coughs> but I can't open that from this side, so <coughs> let's go round. Begin our ascent. Trying to think how you can get outside. 
get in here. Seems there's something back at the start as well. Um, well, let's go up here first. Let's use the Tome of Power. Yeah. Disciples of Disparo. Disparo being like the big bad of this game. One more in here. I'm going to have a little look around and try to see if I can get into that l one secret. Moving on. 